Good morning, guys. Morning. Morning, Lathan. <laughs> Lathan's got such a quiet voice. I'm sure you can't hear TQ either. They think these microphones pick up from like, why am I putting the gate up? What does act like that didn't just happen? What, what happened? Nothing. Exactly. Right? Nothing at all just happened. Hey, Lathan, I appreciate the hustle though. You guys didn't catch it. Lathan put the gate down. And I'm coming around getting set up for the camera work here this morning. Anyways, good morning. How are y'all doing on this beautiful Monday morning? And I walked back and started to put the gate up. Thinking I'm putting the gate down and yeah. Lathan's just too quick. All right. You'll see it later. It was pretty epic. <laughs> If you ever wondered how we got that shot and this is how we did it i just cut it out but i wanted to show you kind of like a behind the scenes little skit here in case any of you are ever thinking about making some videos yourself maybe you're out there as a sole proprietor like i used to be this is how i learned how to do it guys so i cut all that out and then uh we'll hop back into the shot here <laughs> Just this little spot right here, Lathan didn't know. So the property line comes straight down to here. So just took care of that little bank. I can't mow it because there's this big chunk of rocks in there. So I went ahead and took care of it real quick. It's not a big deal.
gotta get these weeds picked. All right. So if you guys noticed the way she was trimming, whenever they installed these trees, I don't know, 10 years ago or so, I don't know who installed them. They never cut a tree ring in properly. They pretty much just put them in the ground. Yes, they are raised properly, but they didn't cut an edge. So that makes it very difficult for the rocks. So we just trim very lightly around the edge, clean out the beds as best we can. We have offered two cut in edges. Uh, the company here just chooses to keep them the way they are. So good job, TQ. Thank you. Quick little tip there. Tell your guys and gals Hey, if you're trimming around a tree ring, something you see that needs some weeds pulled, some bed maintenance, go ahead and do it while you're there. Because typically you would trim, move on, keep on going on down the trees, and then come back and pull weeds. Well, go ahead and take care of them right then and there. And uh, hey, if you happen to be mowing, you can chop them up and get them back into the lawn. I don't recommend you guys do what I'm doing here. Occasionally, though, we have to trim this hillside out front of this commercial building down, and we have to go out there and clean our mess up. So I always do it just to be safe. Luckily, this thing is four lanes, so most drivers go around us. seems like this year uh, employees or potential employees that are trying to get jobs uh, they may have not been taught very well in school or by anyone or googled how to uh, you know submit a resume how to fill out an application how to apply for a job and uh, I don't know when I was in school they taught us you know the basics basically uh, but some of this stuff is just common sense and I'm going to put a few of these pictures up here and I'll tell you right now, if you guys are trying to find a job, whether it's lawn care, uh, you know, a fast food industry or, you know, a trade, uh, anything, there are certain, certain things that you should definitely do to at least give yourself a chance. And a few of these that I'm going to put up here, you absolutely don't want to do. For one, you don't want somebody else trying to apply for a job. Uh, that you want okay so a girlfriend a boyfriend I understand like from that person's standpoint like this one for example this girl's trying to find her boyfriend a job that's an instant disqualification for us here at Spencer Lawn Care because that just doesn't show any initiative on his end uh, to me it's as if she's trying to do the hard work and yeah I'm not gonna knock the dude too bad uh, her you know I give credit to her she's trying to help him out uh, but with that being said, you know, you, you can't help folks that don't want to help themselves. You'll learn that in life. Uh, you know, if somebody's not willing to do something, they're just not going to do it. Uh, another one, check your Google <laughs> profile pictures. So that, this one I can't put up here, but simply the gentleman, he actually sent in his resume and he's got a paraphernalia pipe in his mouth and... <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I can't put that one up here because I will get a strike here on YouTube because they don't play that. But check your, for one, your email name. It shouldn't be something crazy. Uh, for two, check your profile picture. It should be something presentable where, you know, whoever's looking at it from the other end, you know, this isn't your homies. This isn't, you know, some girl you want to try to persuade or a guy you want to try to persuade to, you know, think you're cool or whatever, you know, uh, you got to look at this from the standpoint of, hey, I don't know who's looking at this. I mean, common sense, guys, you know, it just seems really, really simple. But I'll throw one more up here as well. And simply, you just don't text somebody like this and say, hey, can I have a job? First, let's lead off with your name, your contact information, maybe some of your work history, uh, any of the above, but not just, hey, can I have a job? I need to pay back people money. Instant red flag, okay? I'll give you an example uh, from another time. Whenever I was a manager at Subway back, I don't know, it's almost probably been 20 years ago, uh, one of the criterias 
for an applicant was they had to bring in their own pen. So Subway back then, probably not today because everybody's desperate, but back then, uh, if the applicant that came in and asked for a res or asked asked for an application didn't have their own pen, we instantly took the application and threw it in the trash can. That was just that was company policy. I don't know if it still is to this day, but back in 2001, 2000, somewhere around there, uh, that was you know the way they did things. That was it. So make sure you take a pen in. It's just some of those little small things. You know, I know not everything is. Uh, easily done you know you don't have to go in there you know in a three-piece suit and you know fresh haircut are all those things great yes but i understand everybody has different circumstances everybody's financial situations are different and i've been in all of those don't think just because you know you know we have successes now that we didn't have struggles back then because there's been times where i couldn't afford uh truck payments my electric got shut off you know we couldn't afford rent uh, you know, all of the above. We couldn't buy a house. You know, somebody commented yesterday and they said, uh, you know, you buy a lot of stuff and, you know, uh, I wish or I wish uh, other people would it say I, you buy a lot of stuff. Other people can't even afford a house or something like that. Well, guys, there was a time that I couldn't afford a house, you know, and there's still times that, you know, we struggle, you know, when bills get tight, you know, you got a lot of money out in the spring. Most jobs are being done and you, all your commercials are net 30, net 60, net 90. You expend a lot of money out there. All that fuel is going out. Employee costs is going out. You know, all of the above, insurance, workers' compensation, uh, all of the above. Just there's a million different things here. You know, uh, accountant that takes care of all the uh, checks and everything on that end. Uh, there's just a lot of expenses there. So please don't assume that just because we're doing okay now that it was always like that. We've, we've taken our lumps. We've taken our bruises. Uh, but back to the main subject there, uh, for any of you young guys and gals coming into the workforce this year, I know everybody's just now graduating or has graduated. Big congratulations to the class of 2022. That's awesome. Uh, my daughter now is officially, you know, after a few more days here, going to be a high schooler herself. So that's crazy. Uh, life flies by. But if you're getting yourself into the workforce, make sure you have a pen. Be as presentable as possible. Uh actually be the person applying for it. Don't try to have your mom or dad or girlfriend, boyfriend, you know, do the legwork for you. Do the legwork. Uh, do some research. There's a ton of research out there how to ace a, you know, a job interview, you know, what to put down on applications if you don't know, and just a ton of other things. Believe it or not, a lot of people don't know how to fill out checks, you know, but I've rambled on enough here. Let's go ahead and hop into it. I just wanted to help you guys out here. Uh, I'm just blown away this year. That was just a very small, uh, you know, s example of what we've been getting for applicants this year. And I really think it's just people don't care. Uh, they just have to do some form of applying at jobs because we've been getting tons of applications. It's just they're, you know, you either call them back and they don't answer. You call them back, I already found another job. And it's like, I, I, I have no idea. It's just super weird out there in the workforce right now. But do your research. Let's get into the video and get some work done. Oh, all right, guys. So we just got here to the big, big commercial. And I actually got a message from the uh, guy in charge down at the other commercial that we had the, what we thought was an attempted break-in last week. Savannah found the Milwaukee headset. Make sure we don't throw that away. Right there. Yeah, it's still hanging here. Uh, it's been in our can, though. So that baby there. Uh, TQ found it along the fence line and she noticed that the there's a bottom wire that they run through the fence to keep the tension on it they had cut that and it was laying out into the lawn so she just not thinking about it just got off and moved the wire out of the way and picked that up and then she made a video on finding that Milwaukee headset and uh, she's like huh maybe somebody was being a little fishy because it was on the outside of the fence with barbed wire in the middle of a field like it shouldn't be there yeah, for I any never reason. See employees out there, so. But we didn't know either. Yeah, we didn't know. So, to make a long story short, uh, the boss that's in charge down there, Jeff, just messaged and he said they sure as heck did take their converter. So, it's very unfortunate. I'll plug a message up here as well. <laughs> Oh, 
but anyways we're going to get to work here it's uh really unfortunate that they did that people are ridiculous it's hard enough out here to stay in business as it is and to make a profit with all of the craziness going on and people want to take people's stuff right so and it's hard hard enough to get parts and stuff for these things that break down on a daily basis or weekly basis and they just go and steal it yep and what i always tell people is okay yeah you might get away with it you might live your entire life without it but you'll always know you did that and there's somebody up above as well god he's gonna know what you did and we all will pay one day for anything and everything that we've ever done so they might have got away with it now maybe they didn't who knows but well god will god will take care of it. yes absolutely actually mowed up into here i don't think we're going to be able to mow it this time check yeah yeah i think i can mow it again so i mowed all the way up into here it's just this is the ditch coming down through here super saturated we uh we're gonna have to do some bed maintenance as well got a lot of thistle in here good thing is they pull right out Make sure you guys get the root. Watch your head, Lathan. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep rocking it here. Oh, yeah, that's soft there. We'll be able to mow it up to about here this week.
brush cutter. Cleaning up TQ's almost done down there. I gotta run out back and take care of a small patch. Not sure how much you guys will pick up of this video. That's Cameron with Lawn Care Life in Missouri. <laughs> He's like, I don't know who runs your Instagram page, <laughs> but whoever does, hope all is well. Yada yada yada. Cameron, TQ and myself run it, man. We don't uh we don't hire this stuff out like other people like you, you know. I'm just playing, man. <laughs> so Lathan's getting some mowing in here. I'm gonna send uh, Cameron back a video real quick and just say hey. They're running everywhere. Trying to get them back away from the grass. They're running the, the track star. <laughs> All right. Trying to make sure there ain't any more. They just come flying out of the grass. TQ would be so jealous. I got to see baby frogs and she didn't. Hey, what the litterers if that's what you want to call them they were busy this weekend between taco bell and alcoholic beverages i mean we did a massive ditch cleanup on this thing just a week ago and my goodness an entire bag out of that thing this week tq's finishing up No bunch of you were asking me about this. It's from a regular grandstand. You can get them at your dealers. Just letting you know you will have to modify it. I had to cut mine off so that it would fit in this little area here. And it works really good. Fit right in that bolt. You will have to put a nut on the inside here and reach down in here. I had to have a video open. Yeah, you have to look back for that one. All right, so I'm gonna go up here. I wanna make sure TQ don't run the baby frogs over. Make sure they're still up here against the wall. They were hiding behind these little weeds. 
Yeah, you're good, Lathan. I don't see him now. Oh, yeah, he is. He's still right there. He's super little. Little dudes. There's one of them. The other one went over here. There he goes. Both still alive. Don't hit the baby frogs. Oh, good. I didn't say you had to stop working. Where's the baby frog? Aww. There's one back there and one right there. See him right there behind the weed? Yeah, I see him. It's the little guys. Did you find him when you were trimming? No, when you came around the first time I came back here to set up the camera to trim around that and they were like flying through here. Oh, and I did run this over a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so they were in this grass somewhere. It's all right, I didn't see any other ones. I don't know. How many frogs are typically in a, what do they call them, a litter? I don't know. I don't know either. These guys will tell us. Tell us guys in the comments. Looks good, looks good. Oh, she's got that little square left there. I'll be on one of the next one. Somebody threw a cushion out on our property. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. Teach you out. Peace. Bye. Do your research. Fill out great applications. Ease your interview. Let's go.